Good afternoon. We start with yet another shooting outside a school in the Denver area, this time in Brighton. Police say one person was shot. They arrested three suspects after a lockdown at a separate school. There's a lot to consider here. Police are still trying to sort out what happened, and if anyone involved was actually a student, police say they got the call for shots fired. That was near the Innovations and Options High School, just off South 9th Avenue and Bush Street. That investigation led them to Prairie View High School, seven miles south of there. Nine News reporter Jalisa Irizarry joins us from outside of Innovations and Options High. And Jalisa, police are still trying to piece together exactly what did happen today. Yeah, the chief didn't give a ton of detail this afternoon when he held a news conference just about an hour ago. But we do know that this all began right here at South 9th and Bush Street. They received a call of shots fired around 1230. And when we arrived, the intersection right over here, there was at least 10 evidence markers in this intersection. Now, police say school resource officers were in the area within seconds but could not find a victim or suspect. They shortly received a call from an urgent care with an individual with a non life threatening injury. They then located a car near Prairie View High School, matching a description of a car in the area at the time of the shooting. Two people were taken into custody at that time, and a third suspect was taken into custody later. Police would not say if anyone involved was a student, but the chief stressed he knows how traumatic these incidents can be for kids. This is what he had. Our concern right now is incidents like this are traumatic for everyone involved but especially our school community, and we do want to, uh, to send our thoughts out to everyone there. Now, police say multiple schools in this area were secured as a precaution. They are releasing those students. At this time, we've seen a number of students walk over here. They would not say if they've located a weapon just yet. Tom and Kim. Another scary afternoon, and again, we all echo the thoughts of the chief here. It's, it's traumatic for everyone involved. Yeah, it's a super unfortunate situation and it's unfortunate how so many students within Colorado are having the same story over and over again and having to deal with lockdowns. We heard one student passing by saying she was stuck in her classroom for at least three hours. So we're hoping they're doing okay today. These generations of students are, are learning this, sadly. All right, Jaleesa, thank you.